Hey there everyone, I hope you're rocking today. Having a fulfilling, meaningful job is something important to us geographic information systems people. The problem is, however, getting that meaningful, fulfilling GIS job. It's a little bit of a challenge. Now, if you're just starting out, the job prospects can seem meager. With GIS seemingly everywhere, you might have thought that getting a great job was going to be easy. But that's the beauty and the problem. GIS is everywhere and it's not that special anymore. But I have some insights that will help you find a fulfilling GIS job that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Before I get going, if you have any questions or concerns or anything that you want me to talk about, just leave them down below. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, professional spatial geoscientist. Geographic information systems is amazing, not to mention fun, and not to mention creative as hell. However, I have a seemingly unpopular opinion when I say that GIS in itself is not a career. I think GIS is a great tool. It is a tool like programming is a tool, like graphic design is a tool. If you combine GIS with other industries, you've got a powerful result. But on its own, GIS is not special. Let's look at, well, quite frankly, some anecdotal results that I have been thinking about. First off, GIS is fairly easy to learn. There's YouTube videos, tutorials, books, excellent schools are training in GIS. Now, if I've got a gap in my understanding, I just go to the interwebs, do a quick search, and a solution is there. I'm not saying that there aren't hard GIS problems out there, but all in all, the basics can be learned quite easily. Second, GIS is fairly accessible. There's open source software. Let's be frank, Esri is pretty cheap for personal use. And there's an immense amount of help out there on the interwebs. This makes the barrier to entry fairly low. And while a lot of it may seem like a point and click black box, GIS is just going to get easier from here on in. Third, GIS skills are common. I took GIS at a technical college. Fantastic instructors, Fantastic courses, a little behind in the technology, but here is the kicker. There were 40 students in my intake. We received a great education, probably 98% pass rate, 20% were on the top tier, but there are two intakes a year, year after year after year after year, and that's just one technical college. How about university courses or university graduate courses where you should be getting some great skills and grounding in GIS. With GIS being fairly easy to learn and accessible, your GIS skills are quite common. If you are planning a GIS career, I have five insights you might want to integrate right now to have a fulfilling GIS career. Number one, do what other people aren't willing or able to do. This is actually a blanket statement for the next four points. This could be as simple as volunteering at your school for GIS events, doing the extra suggested readings, doing the extra suggested problems, public speaking about GIS, creating a YouTube channel for GIS. Again, this has to do with doing things that people aren't willing or able to do. That will give you an advantage. Number two. Plan ahead. This is actually something that I wish I had done with my GIS career. Now, luckily, I landed on my feet in one of the six industries where GIS is growing in. These industries are supply chain management, insurance, natural resources, cities, banking and finances, and health and human services. If you're just starting out, you should be really thinking about the future of GIS within these six industries. You can make an impact, be extremely employable, and have a meaningful career. Number three, network, get involved, and network. 
For me, networking person to person has never been easy. I opted for the get in front of a camera and make a YouTube channel route. What has also been important is going to conferences, going to meetups, talking to people in industry, generally being a social person within GIS. Most jobs that you're ever going to have are going to be found through networking. Get meeting people. Number four, and I love this one. Teach GIS skills to people who want to learn. Something happens in our brains when we have to have the responsibility of teaching a concept to somebody. We realize that we have to be more responsible. We realize that we actually have to convey information properly. It also kills a bunch of birds with single stones. Teaching means networking. Teaching means planning and teaching means getting up in front of people. You're not only learning, networking, you're also doing something that other people won't do. Very powerful for a GIS career. Number five, pursue other interests intensely. We live in a time where the gig economy is here to stay and having other interests that you're not only passionate about, but awesome at, and if you're really lucky, merge well with GIS, you're going to be able to find something very powerful in the future. Maybe you're awesome at cooking. You can GIS that up with maps about food. Maybe you're awesome at biking. Now you can map your biking trips with GIS. It's your interests, you figure it out. Number six, I said five, but I'm just throwing this one in because I always do because I really believe it, and that is become a caveman. When I say become a caveman, what I mean is make sure you get your health, your emotions, your body, your mind, your friendships, your clothing, your skills, get all that stuff together. In an age of automation and robots, I really believe that one of the last things we are gonna be able to do is be human. It's gonna be a very powerful tool for your future career. <laughs> And those are my thoughts on finding a meaningful, fulfilling career in GIS. GIS is amazing. It's everywhere, but it's better as a tool. And with the proper mindsets, you'd be able to find something great. Thanks for watching. I'd like to remind you that I've got some websites coming up and I'm writing a book about GIS. Check out the websites down below. Hopefully they're done by the time you read this. Probably not. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.